Welcome to Coach's Roundtable. I'm Ed Cody. To my right, the Swami George Abraham. To my left, the Tiger Albert Campman. We hope you had a good start to the new year. Here we go with Spotlight. It's been a couple of weeks for us. High school basketball, top scorers, 20-plus. Boys, Isaac D. Gregorio, North Catholic, 35. Logan Kroll, Slippy Rock High School, 33. Elijah White, Portsville Christian, 33 and 20. Jalen Vaughn, Beaver Falls, 30. Ethan Morton of Butler, 29. Zach Zajax of Seneca Valley, 18. Scott Frazier of Knock, 28. Andrew Ruccia of uh, Mars, 27. Logan Murray, Pine Ridge, 26. Grant Schofthauser of Freeport, 26. Ben Ringelson of Hampton, 25. Jalen Brown, Freeport, 24. Michael Carmody of Mars, 24. Steve Antuono of Elwood City, 21. Dan Petcash of Pine Ridge, 20. And Darius Gooseby of Rochester, 20. For the girls, Tess Myers, North Catholic, 26. Jordan Kaufman of Butler, 25. Nadia Uber of Wilmington, 25. Ty Johnson of Mars, 23 and 21. Jasmine Mack of Rochester, 23. Marley Wolf, Riverside, 22. Natalie Grieco of Elwood City, 21. Michaela Collins of Beaver Falls, 20. And Bella Palaya of Mars, 20. In uh, college basketball, men, Micah Till, Slippery Rock University, games of 35 and 23. The Rock, they've won six in a row. They're eight and five, five and one in the PSAC. And Till was named PSAC West Player of the Week. They have a big week coming up, games against California and Saturday at home against IUP. Joel Stutz, BC3, 33 and 22. High school, indoor track, Butler's Jack caught a spot when the Pole vault at the Tri-State Meet at Edinburgh with a vault of 14 feet 5 inches. It is the fourth best vault in the state. Sean Northcott of Slippery Rock High School, a school record in a shot put 44 feet 3 inches. High school swimming, multiple event winners. Laura Gettler of Butler, 200 medley relay, the 50 freestyle and the 100 butterfly. Rachel Ledford of Butler, 200 medley, 100 freestyle and 100 breaststroke. Reagan Saworsa of Slippery Rock High School, the 50 freestyle, the 500 freestyle, and the 200 freestyle relay. And for the boys, Alex Deemer of Butler, the 200 medley relay, the 200 individual, and the 500 freestyle. Let's go to high school basketball power rankings. Boy, things have changed since we gave our last ranking several weeks ago. In 6A, for the boys, Alderdice, followed by undefeated Upper St. Clair, Pine Richland, Mount Lebanon, Butler and Latrobe, and tonight's a real showdown game. Butler at Pine Richland. Butler averages 74 points a game. They give up 70. Pine Richland, 77 and 55. They have four starters and double figures. Butler counters, of course, with Ethan Morton averaging around 25 and Luke Patton. It should be a good one tonight. Not a good one, a great one. These games have always went down to the wire. Yes. And, so, and Pirates always seems to pull them out. <laughs> yeah, offensively, I think their match, the difference there is is defensively, where Pine is 15 points better on the defensive side. It's a lot of points. You know, when you start giving up in the 70s, you have to score. And in 5A, undefeated Moon, followed by Mars, Chartiers Valley, Penn Hills, and Woodland Hills. In 4A, Quaker Valley, undefeated, followed by Ringo, Newcastle, Ambridge. And a surging knock team in at 8 and 3. They have a big game tonight at Highlands. And 3A, it's Lincoln Park, followed by Seton LaSalle, Mechanic, Aliquippa, and Avonworth. In 2A, it's Olsh, Sarah Catholic, Jeanette, Swickley Academy, and Springdale. And in 1A, it's Union, Nazareth Prep, Cornell, Bishop Canavan, St. Joseph. You've seen Union play. Yeah. And uh, they, uh, they have a tough conference. You know, Cornell's in it, Vincentia's in it. Families in it. They're, I think four of their teams in our league might be the four best teams mm -hmm. in the WPL. A little surprise if it's Sensions uh, four and six. No, it's, their, it's their schedule. They, yeah. they play. They play the upper schedule. That's why they're. They'll be there yeah, at the end. I saw Union the same as L. They're they're good, but they're small. And for the girls in six A, undefeated North Allegheny, followed by undefeated Peters Township, Bethel Park, Norman, and Fox Chapel. In 5A, Char Valley undefeated, followed by Oakland Catholic with just one loss, Mars Gateway and Penn Hills. In 4A, North Catholic, Blackhawk, Central Valley, Southmoreland, and Freeport. And in 3A, Washington, Neshanik, Beaver, Shadyside Academy, and Deer Lakes. And in 2A, Bishop Canavan, Olsh, Sarah, Brentwood, and Southside Beaver. And in 1A, it's Greensburg Central Catholic, West Green, Rochester, 
Clareton and Swickley Academy. Things are starting to change now. Teams are starting to, to gel, and a lot of those games, uh, exhibitions, and tournaments are over. Yeah, a lot of uh, football teams have practiced a lot, played a long time. <laughs> you know, you get your players so late, you have uh, uh, you have to get them. It takes them probably a month to get them ready to play. Let's go to our stories of the week. The NFL playoff weekend first round. The ratings were up 12% from last year. I thought the games were absolutely terrific. Uh, return to defense and running some old-style uh, football in there. Uh, the AFC, Indy 21, Houston 7, the Chargers 23, the Ravens 17. Which was the most impressive win here, the Colts or the Chargers? Wow, that's, a, that's an interesting question. I have them both really high. I, I would say the, the, the way the, way the uh, Colts won at Houston because I think the Chargers are better in Baltimore. So I don't think that's, that's an unmajor upset. I thought the Colts going in and how they did it defensively. Their defense is playing really good. I never knew they could play defense like this in Indianapolis. And they haven't touched luck in like eight weeks. And if you give him, well, he's he's a big timer. He, yeah, and the run, run, who's the kid running a ball like Matt. crazy? He's Matt. from Southern Florida. South yeah. Florida. He was, up, he was a really good player Tremendous. in college, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. When, when that GM took, took over there, he said the first two things I have to do, rebuild the offensive and defensive lines. He brought in a bunch of new guys on defense, two rookie guards on offense. And they've done a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better than him on the line of scrimmage. That that's the way you that's the way you win in in junior high, high school, and college. And if you get get luck time and you rush the passer over here, you have a chance. Th those two guards are pancake guys for them. Yeah. Oh, they're dangerous. They are really dangerous because, as you said, they can run the ball and they can. You know, they're going to have to put some pressure on Mahomes. Now, think about Ravens with the Chargers defensive. Uh, coordinator Gus Bradley did was f he took out the linebackers and put in three safeties. So they they were able to run with Lamar Jackson. Now, Lamar's good. The only thing I'm looking at at him, he's not going to continue to run like that 15 times a game. He's going to end up if he does what happened to RG. He took a shot was ne never the same. He's going to have to do more about staying in the pocket and passing the football. Well, they keep him in the pocket. He'll be a second teamer forever because he's not a good enough passer. So they're going I to agree. Have, you know, so they're going to have to play them that way, and they just got to teach them what they do. Russell Wilson, listen, you see any defensive jersey around? Hit the ground. I, I, I think they make a mistake to get rid of Flacco. And they're getting rid. He's of, gone. You could tell. Yeah, he's gone. He's yes. gone. Mm -hmm. The thing about them, and as you said, you know, these quarterbacks that run, they don't have a shelf life. But the other day, he didn't complete a pass for two hours clock time. Then he threw for 145 in the fourth, in a fourth yeah. quarter. In the NFC, Dallas 24, Seattle 22, the Eagles 16, the Bears 15. That final kick by the Bears, they now roll it as being partially blocked. When you look at all these games, only one home team won, and that was Dallas. Yeah, and they just held on. It was, it was, upset, it was upset in the NFL, no question. And uh, you look next games, the lines are bigger, than, but I, the, the underdogs will be thinking they can win again. There's no underdog going to any game, any one of those games, thinking we don't have a chance. The NFL is the toughest sport to win because there's such parity. There's so many good teams. Yeah, you're finding out now. Like you said, you had four – was it four uh, dogs, All dogs win the games and their lines were small. Now this week you got a 10, you have a 7. It's a little different. Yeah. This, this week, let's look at this week, the AFC, the Colts – at the Chiefs. The Chiefs have not won a home playoff game since 1993 when who was their quarterback? Joe Montana. Joe Montana. Montana, right? Montana. Hey, now think about that. How, you know, I'm thinking, Andy Reid, come on. They've lost six straight since in the last. I know Pittsburgh would have won them like 13 10 or something. It, well, then uh, that, was a, that was an 1814 game was it? where they scored the winning touchdown and they called holding on a left I tackle remember. against James Harrison. I remember. So the Chiefs are favored by five and a half, the over. And under is 56. Who do you like? Well, I, I, will, I will never go against the Chiefs in a, at, at home. But they, that's regular season. When the playoffs, they play differently. I'll toss it up and I'll take the Chiefs, but it's, but it's not a strong play. I'm taking, a, I'm taking the Chiefs to break that losing streak. Oh, and I mean, they certainly have enough speed on the field to do it. So you're taking the I'll take the Colts. He's taking the Colts. I, I like. I gotta force it out of him. I like points. You know, I'm a sucker for points because I think the game could be close. I could be. You know, could like be. I read a thing there that the guy said. You know, when you're rooting, if you're bet the game or you have the dog, you and the coach's uh, voice are the same. But when you have the favorite, he just wants to win. He doesn't care if he wins by one. Right. Uh, I, I'm I'm taking the Chiefs to win. I, I don't. Even, I'm not even looking at at the points, but. Uh, I, 
I'm not. I don't do that thing betting, but it's other guys have said you're. They'd rather take the over and under when it comes to the. Then looks like high scoring. It really does look high scoring. Well, they know 56 of telling high yeah, scoring. Yeah. Don't kick any field goals. <laughs> yeah. It's going under. Yes. Chargers at the Pats. The New England by four and a half. The over and under is 48. You have the team with the best road record, the Chargers seven and one, versus the team with the best home record, eight and zero, oh, the Patriots. Philip Rivers is 0 and seven all time against uh, Brady. Brady is 11 and one all time first round games. Wow, this is this. Is, I, don't, I don't like any. Let's t- let's make it clear out the bat. I don't. I'm just you. You put me on a spot, and I'm just guessing. I don't like any I'm of the games. Supposed to put you on a spot, but I don't like any of the games. Like yeah. like no, I don't think. Not a favorite. Like either. I don't think New England's any good. But I don't think Chargers can beat him in New England. So that's that you know. New England's like, <laughs> you oh, know, there's lucky stinking New England. Watch the Colts beat them, and watch them have it. Another home. home. You know, it, 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 it's funny about. Uh, New England, when we say that, everyone says, oh, how good this <coughs> the Steelers are. And when you look, I don't I don't see anyone on New England's offensive team that I would take over the Steelers except for the quarterback. Brady. Whoa, 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 whoa. Brady. Stop. All the, all the rest of the that, – That word except takes care of yeah, 11 other guys. Guy. <laughs> but I'm saying, when it comes to wide receivers – How was the play, Mrs. Line, Lincoln? <laughs> uh, yes. I mean, even Gronkowski, he's not the, no, watch, he's watch not. him. He's, watch, he's not, watch, no, him not. watch him come around in a, in a playoff. He hasn't played healthy. That's they're, true. They're, no, they're eleven not. and five, but they don't look like because no, they have Brady. Patriots of old. They have Brady. But, that's why. That's why you know what? You know what? If time. this turns into hockey and six plays five in the final, then you'll know it's a different year. Yes. Because I'm telling you, San Diego and the Colts could both they could win, and that game could be in a twenty thousand seat stadium. They could win. Yes. Or the Chargers. They could win. In the a- a- NFC, it's uh, by the way, I'm t- I'm taking uh, uh, New England. Me too. In the game, in the NFC, it's uh, Dallas at the Rams, LA by seven, forty nine and a half, and the Eagles at the Saints. The Saints uh, by eight, fifty one and a half. In a regular season meeting, the Saints beat the Eagles forty eight to seven. Uh, I'm I'm taking Dallas versus the Rams, and I'm taking the Saints. Uh, Dallas is up. That's, that's, that's interesting, Eddie. I like Dallas. I, well, they run, the, New, the Rams struggle against the run. And then nobody runs the ball more than Dallas with Ezekiel Elliott. So that's not a bad play at all. And, and New Orleans is going to have revenge. But I'll tell you, Knowles has some, ma- he has some magic going on. I mean. Hey, uh, and how about this for magic? Watt, the kid from Penn Hills, and Mack. Not one of them touched a quarterback against the Eagles in three weeks. And they were bad all year. And they just turned it around out of nowhere. How does that happen? Then? Offensive line. I, I, yeah, offensive line. I just like the way the games were played last week. It was outstanding football. I think this this weekend we're going to see a lot of the same down to the wire type games. I hope so. Uh, now, some news coming out that uh, Bruce Arians will be the next head coach of be. Tampa Bay. Just heard it. Just heard it. And I he, he will do, he will do a real really good job there with. Uh, well, that's why, that's why they're hiring him. They think he's a quarterback coach, and that's the big thing today. You know, they're going to get Green Bay's going to try to get a quarterback coach. They got him. They got oh, Matt LaFleur. Okay, LaFleur. So that's what that, How that's about why the team was twenty ninth in offense? Please give me a break. If I'm Terrell Austin, I'm upset. Yeah, so that's what that's what the, they're the do. team was 29th, Eddie, and he got a job. Now this stinking right, he wears a nice hat. Okay, hire him. Now they're going to hire this dope in Texas Tech that couldn't make a bowl. He's game. getting the job too. He's getting Arizona. He's getting Arizona. Amazing. They're all over quarterback S- guys. Since yeah. Cincinnati yeah. fired Marvin Lewis, and he recommends you Jackson for the oh, job. Oh, stop. <laughs> They well, if Browns hire him, I mean, the Bengals yeah, hire him, they should have kept Lewis. Yeah. That's all I'd say. The, kept the, fan, the fans ought to boycott that they really for should. a whole year. You know what, Ed? That's, they really should. You know there's a new uh, soap, soap opera show on, on the air. It's called uh, The Steelers Search for Yesterday. You have Antonio Awal Brown skip practices, didn't go take an MRI he was told to take, uh, deactivated. Uh, left at halftime of the game on Sunday. His agent, Rosenhaus, called Tomlin on Sunday and said he's ready to play after he missed uh, practice all all week. Here's what I'm saying. It's a playoff-type game with the Bengals. He quit on his team. That has to cause some concern in that locker room. So the question all week has been, what did the Steelers do with Brown, with the player who quit on his team? There are those who say, oh, Patch up, make up. He's too valuable a player. But then he went on uh, the internet with James Harrison and mocked Tomlin. I, I don't know how Tomlin can have this guy come back and play for him. Well, they're trying to, but they're just like to give him away. 
That's the deal. They're not yeah, getting. They're not getting these number business. one and you number two. It's a business. For it. not, you know, if, that, if it doesn't come back, they're keeping. Him. He's going to play. He's too good a player not to get rid. of And he's going to cause you know, problems yes, again. You know, do oh, yeah. you know going in? He's a problem. He's, he's a problem. Yeah, That's all there's to it. He's, he's a diva. Yeah. He's yeah. a big diva. Now, I, I can understand. Athletes have disagreements with one another. That's been going on since Babe Ruth and Lou. Gehr- Bradshaw and Noel hardly spoke. They didn't so speak. One, and they won, won four Super Bowls. So when Ben says, I'm real good friends with Antonio, no, no one no one cares. What They're, they're watching Mr. Rogers reruns yeah, together. And you know, he, not, he tells them to run a ride again, and he's not practicing. That, here, here's the thing. Now, how much of this circus does, does uh, Ben get credit for calling players out in the paper, I talked to a couple ex Steelers. They said never. You just you don't do that. You keep that inside. You want to talk to the player. You go up to him in the locker room. You don't send them a message through the press. When was the ex Steelers play? It had to be forty years ago, thirty years ago. During, during they the all Super Bowl days. Because, but no, they all do it. That's what I'm saying. The yeah. 1970s. They all do it today. Yeah. I'm on Twitter. There are 17 every day calling somebody out. Some, it's just the world we're living. I can't stand it. But they they live on FaceTime, uh, yeah, Twitter, yeah. Well, Instagram. Well, FaceTime that talk? You know, everybody. Sh- so here's the they're question. On it. They're divas. Okay, a lot of them are divas. Where do you draw the line of destroying the team? That's the question. There, there, and there, and there is are, no line. I don't uh, think there is uh, a line. Uh, there, there, do you there, think there's a line for that? I think at some teams uh, you, you, don't, you don't hear that talk. I've never heard uh, Rivers do that. He does I've all the time. Heard, I, he's Rivers, called out his own players. I watch the game. He calls out his players on the sideline. No, no, every no, 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 Elvin. In the press, I'll look at a call from no, George. No, no, in, in Rivers the calls out his team all the time. I, I've never heard it in the press. Well, how, maybe maybe but he you, does. You're never out in San Diego. You don't get the. No, no. What I'm right saying, I've never heard it on the shows where he said anything about. It. But uh, here's the thing about Ben. He says he wants to be a leader. So in other words, you are blaming Roethlisberger. Huh? You are blaming Ross. You're blaming Ross. I think he's part of it. He's I don't think he's any part of it. Brown's everything. Brown, no, I don't. Brown's the yeah, whole thing. Well, here, here's what someone said. They talked to some player. The, the guy on uh, the one talk show, the fan, said that there are as many players in that locker room. Yeah, they're upset with Brown, but they're an uh, equal number just as upset with Ben and the role he plays in all of this. Because they're jealous. He got all the money. That's why. Well, that's jealous. an that's an assumption that you make that they're jealous. No, that's an assumption you're making chir- that these guys are chir- telling the truth. No, this the show. came from from a guy who talked to Steeler fans. You believe that? You believe that? Well, then he's lying. He's lying. He could be lying. No, I don't believe. Well, I believe they could be lying. I believe they get a lot of. I think Brown lies. I think Rodgers lies. I think they all lie. I think they get a lot of inside information. The guys won't come out in the press, but they'll want to tell something too. Here's what bothers me about Pittsburgh, the media in particular. You hear these, like he left at halftime things, right. and it wasn't really his knee things. The national guys break it. I don't understand. I'm assuming they're They should control- know, right? Yes. They should know. Yes. In I other agree. words, if you were at practice Thursday, you knew he they wasn't should, there. They should know, right? I didn't read it until that Lombardi guy said, yeah. hey, he left. I, I, I don't. Uh, I, I think Ben is part of the drama. I think he's a drama. I did not say he's drama, but in this situation, I think Brown's the whole, the whole problem. Brown's just a guy. You don't quit on your team. You just named it. You don't yeah, quit, you on, don't your quit on your team. You don't quit at halftime. I don't care what anybody says. My, t- my team and Ella didn't like each other, but nobody didn't quit at halftime. Wow. That's what works. Babe, I, I am old school. I thought you were too. Uh, that you, uh, ben comes out and calls out Washington, calls out AB in the paper. He ran the wrong route. That's why I threw the bad pass and this and that. I just don't think you do that. And it does cause, whether you like to admit it or not, it causes a lot of divisiveness within the locker room. Really think so? Mm. I do. You don't think Brady ever says anything to the players oh, directly? Oh, Brady, Brady, like he's on that directly. He's on the show, so I won't talk. Uh, when I'll did like, you ever hear him name an incident where he called a player out? I don't. I don't follow New England. Well, I know, but I don't say we're but Pittsburgh. I, I, I'm saying if he did, you know, if he did, you'd have heard about it. If he called out and accused Edelman of doing something wrong in the in the press. Uh, I, I I think when Ben says I I'll I find earned, something for you. When, I'll find something. I, for when you. Ben says I earned the right to do this, I don't agree. I'll find something for you. Well, I don't like him doing it on the radio show. You know, I don't like, like him doing it at all. But yeah. I know they all do. But it. I know that's what do. I'm saying. You're saying he's the oh, only I guy. I watch Rivers it. on the side, no. and I've seen Brady just tear into the coach. No, Brady, oh, no, Brady the isn't the coach during on the, the sideline. During the game, players players disagree and have arguments all the time. I'll, I'll get it's about what you do in the press. He's going to search. All right, that's your that's your homework for next week. Hey, Joey Porter f- uh, fired anyone surprised by no, that? No, no one's surprised. He, he didn't know the difference no between being a coach and a player. Yeah, How no about they fired the running backs coach today? I don't know. I knew pretty, that. Sexton went. I don't know what the wrong. reason was, but it, it, there's some reason. Bell ran well. I don't know Connor what the reason ran is. Well. I don't, it must be something else. You know, I don't it must have been the fumble by Ridley. 
Yeah, uh, who, or, or uh, one, one carry in two years, yes. he's out. I, I'm sure. I'm sure you're going to hear more guys yeah. getting oh, yeah. getting uh, fired. Special I think. I think the pressure's coming down on Tomlin. Clean this mess up. Clean the locker room. I up. agree. I agree with that. Uh, I, I just. I just wonder how Tomlin does he save face and Antonio comes back because well, Brown's coming back. Unless they get a first round, a second round, but a first round. But they're not first in the driver's seat to get a first and second round. So maybe he's coming back. They, they they may get a first rounder, but that's the, not the team teams not, aren't going to give away. And uh, that's why he's coming back. Valuable players. He's the best player in this. Well, here now Wait, here I'll give you now here's a big assumption. You haven't heard a thing from Art Rooney. Not a word. Right. Not a word. No. So we we could read into that many different ways. What do you think he's thinking? He might come out and say we're going to patch it up. But then he might come out and say. As today, March the 14th, Antonio Brown's not well, a member of the Oakland Raiders. Well, here's my thought on Rudy. Tom was told to fire Joey Porter. They're best buddies. I think so, too. I mean, I'm just my guess. That's my it's assumption. My guess too. And my this guess. stuff about Keith Butler, let me say, this is Tomlin's defense. It's Tomlin's defense. It's his, what he wanted. He coached the defense at Tampa Bay for Gruden. He wanted all these changes. It, uh, Tomlin wanted Arians out, and Ben wanted, uh, what's his name? Out as the offensive oh, Haley, Haley. Haley yeah. and and now Tomlin got his buddy in there, Keith Butler. But Tomlin, you see a lot of the timeouts. He's the one talking to the defense. I think the, I think a lot of the head coaches who have been on the defensive side all, all continue to do that. Well, right. Supposedly they're going to get a quality uh, coach uh, video replay. Uh, they need a guy in the talk there. The zero for eleven in challenges, 0 for 11? and mm-hmm. he got mad when they said get somebody. Yeah, you have to get somebody for that. You have to. Oh, and eleven. Yes. College football, what has become known now, now as the Slaughter in Santa Clara. <laughs> Clemson 44, Alabama 16. It was a rout. You could say uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. That crown and that head got chopped off. They were out coached, out played, out hustled. And if I looked in the sideline one time and I saw Saban and I thought, he doesn't know what he can do at this point. He just looked like he was in a panic mode. It's a good way to say it. I think he panicked a long time ago. Here's what I'm thinking. I mean, I, this is my own thoughts. When he when he lost the head coach to Tennessee and he lost the head coach to Georgia, I think his big mouth. And he he. Do you remember the lock, You remember the show they showed Alabama? You said about the coaches were so nervous they in were, that locker room. They were. They were. See, they can't wait to run away from him. He is such a. Yeah. Yeah. He and he's losing all his good coaches. And he has guys on that staff now. One year at a time, you can't do it. That's a great point you made because when he was with Miami, he was 15 and 17. The reason he left, because he couldn't control the players. Yes. He couldn't control management. Right. When he goes to Bama, he could – He's a, he's you, a nutcase. You 10 guys no longer have a scholarship. He brings in 32, well, uh, 33 guys. Well, lady said something about his haircut. He uh, got her out the, of there. The, the administrators – are, oh, are yeah. afraid came of back to haunt. And then he can schedule these teams. Now, here's what I'm I'm, I'm saying to talk to, to some. I, during the whole season, he met finally one team in the SEC with a passing attack, uh-huh. Georgia. They exposed him by spreading out four uh-huh. and five receivers. They put up 21 points, 450 yards. Oklahoma torched him for 500 yards, 34 points. And then Clemson last night. So in three games there, he gave up 106 points, over 1,000 yards passing, and what, eight, nine, ten touchdown passes? Uh, he had no answer for that spread, the Clemson. Well, his had. answer usually isn't what he, what he does. He's always, he recruits eight defensive linemen that usually pressure the quarterback. But those offensive lines held those defensive pack, yeah. and all of a sudden now they look normal. You know, how about know, Clemson in the red zone? Their oh, defense. Hey, and I read some how many coaches he's lost since Dabo, and he have been at the – I mean, he's lost. Thomas Saban? No. So what I was talking about. That's right. No, he, that's, what, that's, how the, that's why the game got out of control and, last night. And then night. he had that, that Butch Jones on the sideline last night. There's, in there's there one chair, example. Going, oh. there's Loxley's, wait, Loxley's their offensive coordinator. He won two games with three years in New Mexico. Right. And Maryland just hired him. Yeah. What is right. some – I hired him last Do you think the, you think the Alabama game? players are going – to Maryland with him. Well, he I can't know, coach. Hey, who, called, coach. who called the fake punt? I don't mind you call a fake punt, but you got to throw the ball. That was that well, had to be fourth next. and six. Like you said about Tom, Tom was the guy. Yes, called. You have a hundred. You have a hundred and sixty-eight pound holder leading in through the hole. He should have said the Saban. You want to kill me? Here, you run this. You run. <laughs> you run this. And he, and he did. He looked over. You saw number Tam Jones look at the sideline. And he said, "Okay." He shook his head. So they gave him the call from the sideline. I, I, I've never seen. Uh, he was rattled, Saban. On the sidelines. What is he not? What is he? Now, but I mean, last night he didn't have any. Here's answer. George's line. George has a I'm famous line. Before phone. he threw the headphones, Ed. George, Smash here's your famous yeah. line you give me all the time. Who was he? Who was he beating? 
I'm asking that he you. wasn't better than. Yeah. He is every game, ninety nine percent of the time. He's better. He's better than. Last night he wasn't, and he, he had no murder. And he, he was like this. He didn't know what to do. No, he, and, was, and, he was shaking and, his shoes. And he has he has to, to set up the big games like they they have a bye against LSU or they're they're, they're playing yeah, Northwest, sets the schedule up, Northwest Louisiana yeah. Southern yes. or someone like Good that. Good point. I never thought of that. He does sets the schedule up that the way easy too. Game before Auburn big, or Georgia uh-huh. won. Clemson fifteen to zero, the first team to win fifteen since Penn in eighteen ninety seven. Bill Warren. The Bill, Bill, <laughs> Bill Warren. Was, Bill <laughs> he was there. Bill Warren. Was Bill and Dabo. <laughs> Bill was a coach. Hey, in historical runs in college football national championships. Uh, Frank Leahy at Notre Dame, four and seven years. They were 36-0-2. Saban at Bama, five and nine years. Miami, four and nine years with three different coaches. Nebraska and Osborne, Osborne. three and five years, a tie with Michigan. Oklahoma, Bud Wilkinson, 47 the long straight, streak, two yeah. titles. And now Clemson and Dabo. Two and three years. Next year, he has a chance to move up in history by winning three out of four years. Here's what I'll say. You're leading into good comments. Who, who in the ACC can challenge him? You understand? I think he's no I one. think he's here. Like, at least in Alabama, they at least get a Georgia. Yeah. There's nobody. Is the, there anybody close to him, Georgia? No, the, no, talk, no, was, close the to talk was Miami and Florida State, but no, forget no, about it. Close to him. It. It's not, now, he has Lawrence uh, back, uh, a freshman. Uh, three sophomore receivers and a freshman receiver back. Oh, geez, it's just going to get better. Four, four juniors on the offensive line coming back. I mean, oh, they won't touch this kid. He'll throw for five hundred. <laughs> hey, hey, let me ask you now: Can Georgia finally shut up now that they belong yeah. in the final? Yeah, please. Four? All their, they, Notre Dame they, doesn't look too bad now either. No, no. no. That doesn't and make them Georgia, look too bad. after Notre Dame lost to Clemson, Georgia players were yeah. taunting Notre Dame. Yeah. There's with, that. With, there's with, that social with, media with I'm talking about. When you, when you look at what Notre Dame did, they were down twenty-three to three at the half, and they held George or Clemson to one touchdown. Two two big plays ruined the game for them. So the ACC was six and five, and the Bulls SEC six and six, Big Ten five and four, the Big Twelve four and three. So pretty equal this year. Pretty that's pretty interesting. equal. That's, no, real equal. That's uh, that's interesting. I disagree with all the talk to expand the playoffs to eight. I I just don't. I, I just don't see. I don't where have a thought on that. that. Too many. I don't. Th- I don't have a thought on that. Really, don't. I told you. I have one thought to take scholarships down to seventy. I just want to see more teams. I- like right now, if I said to you, your last breath would be those two next oh, year. Oh, I'd say right now. Would right. you say that? Wouldn't be surprised. I would. I would no. say for but sure. Depends on who yeah. Oklahoma mind. gets back for. Yeah. For for quarterback. Well, see, they have quarterbacks uh, back. Yeah. Ohio State's going to be good again. The field no just transferred. Yes. No, field just transferred. Did he play right Georgia. away? Yeah, he's playing. Yeah, he could play. Oh, because right, that yeah. guy harassed the four. Them. No, the four. I think thing. it's the four. And, 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 uh, and, uh, he only played four games, I think. I think Notre, Notre, sure. Dame, Notre Dame has uh, eight starters back on defense, so they're going to be. I good I still again. take those two teams though. Yeah. Like oh yeah, absolutely. Mind, that's absolutely. What I'd say. Now I say one thing about the ACC, the sports conference. It's it's the country's best. In the last three years, they won two national titles in football, one in men's basketball, one in women's basketball. Oh, the ACC in basketball is the best. Pretty, there no question about that. Pretty good. <laughs> hey, finally, boy, the Penguins are really, really doing well. Uh, Murray has had seven yes. straight wins in goal. He goes for a record eighth uh, tonight. Crosby, he may be playing his best hockey that he's ever played. Yeah, yes, he's sensational. George asked me every year in December, do you think the Penguins and the Houston Rockets will be okay? And I said, listen, yeah. nobody cares about the game sport in December. Now all of a sudden January, February. They've really play. heated up. They're, yes. just, they're just playing great right now. Uh, next week we have to go back and take a look at Pitt and their football season and make an evaluation, but we've run out of time right now. We will see you next week.